Pretty good for the number 10 car. Um, we rolled out really good today, but um, yeah, I think we did all the work last week. Um, the car feels really good on traffic, really good alone. A couple of pit stops to practice and we're ready for Sunday. So um, yeah, bring on race day. It was a cold and dreary carb day, but I'm happy that we got some running in. Got most of the whole time in, um, which is beneficial because it's, it's not going to be this cloudy, I don't think, on race day, but it's definitely going to be cool. So this is good, good of a prep as we're going to get for that. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. Just got to strap in and go after it for 500 miles. Uh, I thought our car was exceptionally fast. Uh, we had pretty high downforce early on. We were able to work our way through the field. Uh, quite quickly uh, once we got to the front with Dixon and those guys we needed to figure out the trim level that we could go to so the very last run we did that and yeah the car understeer a little bit more we, we struggled a little bit more but um, you know we know how to fix it uh, simply a COP thing so I feel good I do I feel good um, you know I feel really good so I see a lot of guys up at the top of the charts that I was around that uh, their cars didn't look quite as as good in traffic as us so I'm excited by the prospects I think there's uh, there's a good chance that we're able to get to the front and uh, be able to go race at the end of this thing. I had a pretty, very good carb day. Uh, car feels very fast in race trip. Uh, 31st might not look like a very fast car, but I know it's it's very fast. So uh, very excited, and you know, team has done an amazing job. Engine uh, Chevy power was, was amazing. So very excited to go out for the race, and uh, I think everything feels perfect. So uh, ready to challenge for the win. Yeah, it was cool. It was, uh, it was great to see that IndyCar got the, the track time in because uh, we were talking about running as late as 9 p.m. tonight. So it was. Uh, <laughs> you have things very other night? No, I don't, but I'm normally in bed by 8.30, so you know, it would have been a late night for me. But uh, no, it, it, it uh, was great that we get the run in. Um, the, uh, the Pensy Bank number 9 Honda felt uh, really good. I think everybody felt like King Kong out there, to be honest, with uh, the weather conditions. You know, it was just uh, super stuck for, for everyone and, and kind of easy to even pass back in the pack, which was, which was uh, definitely interesting, which may uh, show that, you know, how the race is going to be uh, come Sunday. Hopefully, you know, it warms up a little bit to create some separation. Um, but yeah, we just, we got through what we needed to. We got the miles on the engine that we needed to and ran through some, uh, some fuel mixtures and things like that. And, um, did the full tank stuff and all that, so it's good. So cough day, um, very cold. Uh, I think it's just a bit of 60s, so uh, uh, very cold. Uh, the weather prediction on the race day is 70-ish, so still cool as a normal 500, but uh, it was good to get to the, uh, uh, the data under the very cold condition with more density and it's just a truck, uh, truck, sorry, the truck and downforce demand is a bit different, but it was, uh, it was, um, it was a tough run still, but I think we checked there quite a few things um, uh, between 15 and 45 cars, so I think we corrected the quite good good data. Now we need to gather everything and put the best out of the best for the Sunday. Well, it was a really hard day. We you know, tried to see the car ran, the car ran okay. We did some pit stops and we stopped, so uh, today wasn't really the day to really learn anything. We're just really trying to uh, see if everything works.